Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and this is my son Ben and today we have a look at the brand new Highland Park 12 years. Um, this one is well a well-known old one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, one of the classic ones and uh, today we have the new design. So the the content is still the same but the new design I can show it to you in the close-up is uh, a new bottle that's all about the new bottle and the bottle has uh, a very interesting shape on it it has like runes and that age from highland park and everything is made in viking style and it's just you can feel it it's it's not a flat bottle but they actually molded it into the bottle so very interesting bottle but it's said to be the same content and we do have the old one. The old one is still there. So over the next year or this year, you will find uh, both bottles on the market. And this is the old one and Highland Park does not color. And if you look at it, uh, depending on the uh, distance of the paper to the bottle, the color is slightly different, but this might uh, be to the different batches or, or thickness of bottle thickness of the bottle to the engravements, which will uh, also distort the distort the the, 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 uh, the light. So quite difficult to say, uh, but I think it's sad to be first and refill sherry casks, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they have since decades the same whiskies they produce with the same. Uh, casks and therefore uh, and this is the mega seller of them so it will be the same differences will be always there but yeah that's it um, mm -hmm. it's 40% ABV yeah. it's not that expensive it's affordable it's an affordable one yeah uh, so I think nearly everywhere you should be able to get a 40 mm -hmm. euros dollars pounds yeah. Uh, and the cork is different. This is a screw cork. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Uh, so you have a normal cork and then you have a screw cap on top of it. And here you just see the, uh, well, the counterpart for the screw. It's, it's not, com not a complete uh, round on it, but... It's just, I don't know, 30 uh, degrees. Uh, and then it's fixed and then you turn back again then the cork goes out and this helps to to save the cork uh, because I've uh, made a video how to open a bottle and there you have to turn the cork first to get rid of the sticking friction to get into uh, moving friction yeah and this helps so it's a wonderful development for this cork or for this closure I've never of the seen bottle. any of these corks I've never seen it's, that before. It's interesting how, how it, the, the strewing actually compresses it to the end. So, so it might I think be it's a, uh, a good innovation. Yeah, and I think it, it might be uh, better sealed than others. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. So I, we had a dram before, and mm -hmm. this time, last time I had at first uh, fruitiness, the sherry, and this time it was vanilla. It mm -hmm. depends on the distance of my nose to the glass. And then the sherry and the fruitiness and there is a hint of smoke in it. And Highland Park produces uh, smoky and non-smoky whiskey. And uh, so some of the bottlings of Highland Park, the not that popular bottles, but with a smaller number of, uh, of releases, uh, they tend to have uh, more smoky whiskey. This is the mainstream and this just has a, a whiff of smoke in it for making it more uh, interesting and complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do have a lot of the the light sweet tones as well. It's uh, very light with honey with a bit of vanilla as well and I also do get a lot of um, heather and that hint that very very small whiff of smoke and some some sherry tones in there like a bit of a berry or grapes going on yeah it's a a complex smell mm, it's complex and, and it's it's just 40 percent abv mm -hmm. 
My sip had been a little bit too big. <laughs> so it was a huge mouthful and it was sweet and luscious mm. and so welcoming. And then after swallowing, a little mouth watering uh, kicks in and then you have an aftertaste. Uh, espresso, cappuccino, definitely a little bit of bitter coffee notes in it. Uh, hefty oakiness. So this might come or will come uh, from the ex sherry casks. So this is a, a, a hefty, a hefty mm -hmm. taste. Mm. At the very first, when you when you take it into your mouth, you do have a, a a very nice sweetness, and it's almost syrup-like. When you have it in your mouth, you develop a lot um, more more subtle sweetnesses like honey bit of a vanilla tone in there and as it progresses now here comes the aftertaste becomes more spicy oaky mm -hmm. chocolatey yeah. bitter cacao so it's kind of I would say it's kind of a journey to have it in mm -hmm. your mouth so so it's do have a taste it's in really room. complex from the start to the mm. end it's very good value for the money mm. Mm. I find it incredible that you, when you have the second sip, that you also do have um, the sweetness. Usually when you have the second sip, mm -hmm. you do get more of the tones of the aftertone because you still have the, the one, the, the sip from before. Mm -hmm. And then the alcohol builds up. Mm -hmm. And then but the here sweetness it, is you, gone. You, still you there. take the, the sweetness mm. with the first sip, but now I'm getting into the, the <laughs> aftertones of the yeah. first uh, second sip, and yeah. it's it's so, quite a journey. Uh, if you if you smell it, and if you had it in your mouth first, you didn't don't think that you you end up with such a such a rough whiskey in the end. Um, rough, not, not rough, no, rough, no uh, intense, deep, intense. deep, intense. That's yeah. the word. And Rough would say it, it would be sharp and sharp, no. harsh in the aftertaste. It's uh, no, in no. deep, intense, uh, yeah. like, like that cacao and that kind of stuff. So it's, yeah. I would say it's a beginner's intermediate whiskey. <laughs> oh yeah. So it's it you might be it difficult. A, it might be difficult for the like the, the first time beginners, but uh, yeah. a beginner who has already had one or two bottles, then definitely a bottle mm -hmm. to look at. Yeah. So. Yeah, That's thank it. you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to go on whiskey.com, find other whiskeys like this or some of our distillery videos and see you next time.